Hello and welcome, I'm Dino and today we have a new chapter on Learn Hearts of Iron 4 by example. I'm doing this because I learned how to play by tutorial, but then when I started to play I really didn't know what to do, so I'm kind of doing this kind of full gameplay, but explaining all my moves, why I do what I do and all what is going on in my head, so you can learn how to play and enjoy this game. So let's go. So the situation is as follows, we are on February 10, 1939, we have an exit Czechoslovakia because they are, we are the Habsburg king, so we joined the two kingdoms and we did have started a counter-attack, we surrounded Konigsberg, enveloped Konigsberg and we have the Sherman troops there in the forest, Konigsberg forest, almost 400,000 men, we don't have the strength to keep pushing so I prefer to keep the advance over Berlin, we have captured Berlin and we made a very pocket to the southeast of Berlin, many more troops trapped there and this is the actual border, this is the good part but we have a very bad part now also that I'm going to explain and the bad part is supply, I'm going to show you right now and we are lacking trucks and trains part because we are expanding in Germany and we need more trains but at the same time the enemy is doing logistic strikes I'm going to switch to air mode and if you press F3 and you select your ration, rations you will see down here our trains lost now we are losing zero but in the past we were losing three four trains a month that is a lot and now the situation is controlled because we are losing lots of anti-air we have nine on Czechoslovakia and in Poland we have about even more now 13 so we've been building up all the anti-air and that helps a lot against logistics so at least we are not losing more trains but we lack also trucks and I had to change my production line this is very bad try never to change the production line I was producing rifles and what oh, every kind of equipment and I had to change them to train this is um, two of the lines we are changing to train this is very unoptimal because I lost all the efficiency and represents a bad planning on my side so what I should have done from the start is put more factories on drains and maybe reinforce the anti-air before the war. Another problem and mistake is that I did is I'm lacking infantry equipment. If you check your garrison, you will see here this is my garrison and they use infantry equipment and if we go to the stockpiles of infantry equipment, let me find the rifles, here are the rifles, you will see that I have zero and that will trigger kind of revolts or more attrition, the compliance will be will not get lower, it's very bad, we could start revolts in the occupied Germany, so I need more infantry equipment, but I changed my infantry equipment for trains, so I made a very bad move, I should have maybe take out some factories from this self propelled artillery and use these new factories and trains instead of dismantling my rifles so now I have to create again a production line for rifles and this is very bad, it's a very a big error in planification on my side and so I'm going to fix the production lines as best as I could to produce more trucks, I need more trucks, it's urgent need more trucks and I'm going to lower the production of cell propelled artillery that I'm okay right now and well let's keep going also I'm lacking a lot of support equipment and therefore I'm going to remove the maintenance company from my regular infantry I will only keep for the training units and that way I will free up some equipment for more important companies like the engineers and thank you for the tip, I'm going to change, because this was your idea, to change from civilian government in the occupation territories to local police, minus 35 of manpower, and this will free up some equipment that I badly need. I have enough points and the improved worker condition is again free, so I'm going to fire this to improve the stability, it's always great. 
And since we have this spirit, political loyalty, and we are non-aligned, we can see here that we are non-aligned, we can repress the other political power and increase our stability even more. And we are going to do that. This at short term, it increases our um, this loyalty, but in the long term, it improves our, our stability. So the, the stability went down a bit for now, but it will grow up fast very soon. And as you can see, I still do not research any political focus because I want to save all my political power to do the initial moves. And when I get the political power, all the decisions that I want on place, I'm going to keep researching focuses. The Shower M is the medium tank. I have 94 units in stock, and this means that I can transform two of my infantry divisions to the elite infantry division template. I'm going to change the ones that are more in danger. One in Berlin, in the garrison Berlin. I'm going to transform this to the elite garrison, and then I'm going to pick another one. Let's see. And I choose this one since I have just one division there and they can escape. But the, the units on the free side of Germany are kind of still weak. But I'm going to move all the units that are... I'm going to leave just one unit in each of the provinces on the border and move all the units to the, mod, to the more hot border, the hottest border, that is the, the left one the western front and I'm going to put minimal garrisons all around here and I'm going to use the armor to make this pocket smaller and smaller uh, for example here I can already start moving in this direction and start taking space from them and I'm going to do that right now they are moving to the west and leaving areas this province is also they left that area and I'm going to make these pockets as small as possible so they concentrate in very few provinces and start lacking supply. They do not lack much supplies now because they, they, they are not so many units and they have some factories so they can survive. I need to concentrate them a little bit like I did here on the forest. They have few, many there are more units here and fewer supplies, so we are going to do the same. And now the enemy is counter-attacking, so I'm just moving units to protect the most vulnerable areas. This one, this area is one, so I need to move, for example, this unit there. Also, Berlin is under attack, so I keep monitoring all the area and sending more troops from the border of this pocket and this pocket that is completely under control. And here you can see that I have combat lines, but that's not actually true if you click my... We have only one unit. I'm going to delete this unit. And the actual combat line, the border, the front line, is this one. This army is controlling this sector, but I'm using this to press Sita and mark this area and this area but this is only a visual help but there are actually no units moving there the army is only protecting this area they are not going to be protecting these other two areas it's just a visual aid and if you check these alerts are very important means that we are lacking supplies oh, yes. and as you can see we are lacking supply here that is a very close to our supply depot spot but this is because we are lacking trucks. As you can see up here, we lack trucks. And in the production screen, we are producing now many trucks. And in about one day, we will have our storage full again. So I hope that by that time, our supply problem is going to be fixed. And since the enemy was counter-attacking this province and it was red, I'm sending the tanks to cut the help at least from inside and making the border even further and taking away every chance, any kind of chance of them escaping. If you see the combat, you will see that they have just 18 points. This is very low for an infantry unit. If they have less than 100, means that they are defending, they are in, in kind of trouble. And this is because they lack supplies. They are 
very low in supplies so we are going to use that on our advantage and keep pressing now that I won the battle here I'm just moving infantry unit to conquer the territory to occupy and I'm moving again my my armor units to do another hit I strategically redeploy so they have minimal org but the importance here is that you keep fighting all the time with your armor and let the conquer aspect to the infantry units so they are always always fighting and they won there so I might send one infantry unit there and attack this one or keep moving until I secure these two provinces I'm going to do just that right now because this unit is going to be arriving here and I need the armor to do the shop again and yes now I can attack here and let an infantry unit do the occupation role we are going to strategically redeploy and I send the infantry there and this is how it works I help from this side and I made new pockets I, it's going to be much easier to destroy them and the supply status let's see we have we lack 1300 rifles for occupation and if we are desperate we can disband we need about one unit and a half to disband but we are not going to disband we are going to be fine and let's see the tracks we are fine now with tracks we have even have a surplus now it's time to change the well after a bit i'm going to change the play to a mobile anti-air to our tanks and let's keep going and we have enough political power to resume the focuses and we are going to go for this one that will give lower our consumer goods a little bit since we have a lot of factories now that is going to be useful it's going to be like maybe zero factories now so we are going to gain four or eight new factories uh, we are leaving the last and most difficult terrains like mountains for last minute and now I have them we have all them concentrated here and we are going to do a massive attack and let's see how it goes and the spy ah uh, they are just one for now two because they were retreating two more yes they were retreating in that direction but we are going to finish them they have maybe a fort and they are almost done yes we destroy one pocket and one final pocket and then we can get rid of the Konigsberg one now that we have captured this rich area of resources in Germany we are grabbing more iron from Germany and as you can see I just cancel all the trade deals because we have a surplus of iron and now the final blow attacking from all sides and they are gone and if we check the stockpile of trains we had 120 no we had 100 and now we have almost 120 so we are going to keep now that we conquer this new area we are going to be, be building anti-air in Germany to protect against the enemy bombers that will try to do their job now we are going for the last pocket and we tried first in the salience we took these planes and then we are going for this another plane and another plane so kind of this mountain will be last and I'm doing the same thing on the Konigsberg forest and as you can see the combat potential is very low because of the out of supply and we have developed the medium tank and now we are going to be preparing their force for the future and with the new prototype we have designed a new much better tank because it carries the medium howitzer, radio, treatment turret, improved transmission it gives us a very nice breakthrough, 40 points, a very nice attack a decent reliability and the speed enough to go with the horses 6.3 so we are going to call this shower M2 and it's going to be our main tank right now 
and we are going to change all our tank production to that new tank the shower m1 it's going to be now the shower m2 and also the s1 we are not going to be producing any more light tanks they are going to be also to shower m2 and we have enough spirit to and we have em enough military experience to to pick uh, another spirit and this time we are going to go for uh, organization faster organization flexible because it gives us division speed plus one we could have gone for no division speed is fine and not this one because we are not defending anymore so we were all the war kind in offensive so it's not going to be very useful right now and this extra five plus five speed for the horses that move at 6.4 is kind of very nice and we conquer the Collinsler pocket but Lithuania seeds to Germany for no reason this port we could have protected them so the the Sherman disembark there and they are kind of advancing but it's a hopeless war so we are going to surround them with our tanks and destroy them and the front line is super quiet we have it under control but after we finish this we should do a blitzkrieg our situation in supplies is now kind of much better we have enough trains barely enough now we need more trains because we control more Sherman territory we need 130 but we are using their Sherman factories let's see how many Sherman factories now we control let's go to occupy territory and find Germany we are using nine factories or almost ten factories from Sherman and now we fully control the Konigsberg area we are sending troops to all the front line now it's going to be much easier and it's time for the Blitzkrieg and the enemy is doing very small counterattacks. they have just one unit in each border province this means that they are super weak because the casualties of Germany are about 1 million, more than 1 million versus almost 100k but now it's going to turn these things in our favor I think they are not going to ally them but we are going to do this fast I'm low on fuel so I'm going to buy some barrels from a close by friend and we are reorganizing the front, sending all the units to the west front we put our armor units and we are going to do a run for Stetting and do a Pomeranian pocket and that's going to be the end of the Sherman army I saved some planning bonus for the operation and these are the initial numbers 500, they are small units but they can do the job, they, you know, they are not kind of a super elite unit but for the current situation and date is more than enough I click the whole army, I'm pressing CTRL 2 and now we press B so they tactical redeploy, strategic redeploy all the units and they follow me faster inside enemy territory so I just concentrate on advancing and each time I conquer a new province I just press 2 and the B and they strategic redeploy behind me and we make the pocket we are going to conquer another port this one and we are going to make it a little bigger the good thing about ports is that almost automatically they start working unlike the other supply depots we finish the focus about the consumer goods and let's see the impact we were using eight consumer goods factories and now we are using zero so thanks to that bonus we are having eight more extra factories one good thing about having the initiative is that the enemy is not uh, they don't have time to reorganize and mount a good counter attack so they just keep moving trying to patch all the holes that they are you are making to enemy lines and I'm going to try to reach to Belgium and Holland Netherlands without pausing so I have here my elite armor they are counter attacking I'm going to put in a speed 2 and let's keep playing on continuous move and see what happens I 
I'm going for the ports. As I say, I press 2 and the B. I must stop now because I have more factories and more convoys. Where are the convoys? And some more, maybe rifles. We are okay with rifles. But yes, let's go ahead and produce another. We are already super okay. Let's see the how are with supplies. We are lacking now iron. We are going to buy two iron from France. And I think that's we need more tungsten. We are going to buy tungsten. So let's keep moving. Mm, we conquer the other port. We keep going for the ports. But let's close this new pocket. And that's it. And we have a big new pocket. We control the Northern Sea, the Baltic Sea. And the Italians must be coming in. Hopefully they do not join with Hungary and Romania, but now let's concentrate on killing these small pockets and continue the advance. Sorry the interruption, let's continue, I have them on the border. I'm going to try to clean the pockets, keep moving. And the longer the line, since they have very few units, it's going to be even harder for them to, to protect them all. And things get even easier. We have some resistance there. And that's it, we are about to connect. And the Kriegsmarine is going to have a very difficult time. Let's see the supply. We are fine. And let's see the next target. Mm, we are going to connect here. And we are making another super big pocket. Not sure what was that. Oops, the Italians join. So we are uh, now against Italy, Germany and the English are doing nothing. And the supply system is now okay and uh, now at 100% we have enough trains, a lot more, and we are having enough trucks now, but we need to produce more, more trucks. And we have just one province with lack of supply, so we are going to press F4, and we are going to use trucks on that sector, so the 
situation is blue and mm, we destroy the pocket in the north we have just one there the infantry is going to get rid of them and I'm moving the tanks for doing a big slice connecting with Belgium and destroying many German and probably Italian units that will come on the air and taking away all hope of resistance and this is our actual template and we are going to replace one horse by the light tanks that we already had I should have done this earlier but well better late than never since we have built many small tanks they give us more breakthrough more punch and later we are going to change the light tank by the new medium tanks and we are using this time small combat width but when we have enough time, enough resources, we can upgrade this to 40 size. And we have the armor sparehead on the border, ready for the attack to take the supply depot. But this time we are not saving planning bonus because we are already super strong. And we are just going to reinforce the attack with some infantry units that we have close by and that's all let's see how it goes very nice let's put speed 2 and let's do a continue save speed 3 sorry I have to stop and we keep going and now we are going for the this other supply depot I follow the railway easy PC no thanks and that's it and let's see the new supply depot the closest one and we are going to do a connection here with the nodes because if not we are going to be running out of supply and we are going to help from there and let's do some moves very fast and very 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 powerful and again I strategically redeploy to this location I'm going for the railway again and take the supply depot I already been attacking and as you can see I never care much about the organization since it auto generates as they move and since they are armor and powerful if you put them in groups of holding the co hold the big combat with they don't need organization and keep advancing and we got another supply we are going for this one very deep and that's enough out of supply let's go back we almost connected with France we are one tick from connecting with France and we are going to connect and go back and at the same time we are going to be closing and this is how it works And let's go again. We are going speed three. And we are going to help from this side. And that's it, another pocket. And building new pieces of anti-air in the new acquired sectors and we always keep needing <laughs> more infantry equipment since we are occupying more and more territory the more we occupy it, the more we are lacking so we need to increase our mm, soft infantry equipment 
rifles and I'm going to forbid the infantry to use my shower M2 tanks that they are so good they should keep the all M1 so I go to equipment and basic chassis and I forbid the shower they can only use the old shower one and now I press F4 and this all this sector is under construction the railways have been just conquered so I'm going to move my tank to the blue sector I'm going to advance there in the meanwhile they will start repairing this sector now we are going for Austria the second capital of the Reich and and now we are going for Austria, the second capital of the Reich and we are going to be just using support infantry, not planning bonus and let's speed 2 and pause let's see, we are winning they already won speed 3 redeploy And we got the second capital. Let's see what we have all in close by here. We are going for this nice city down there. We deploy. And we got it. Let's see what else. We have another nice supply depot down there. Not much resistance despite the Italians showing them. And that's enough for now. Let's pull back the tanks. When the units reach, we are going to re pull them back with a strategic redeploy. For now, we are just moving them the standard way. And now we can strategic redeploy them out of there. And we can advance, everywhere we see the chance to advance, we advance. And Germany has capitulated, let's see how the maps looks like now. Um, we control all of this territory and now we have just Italy remaining. And let's see the pocket in the north. Yes, the pocket is there only a few Italian units are remaining in the port but this is a big victory for Poland we defeated the Sherman counterattack they have ah the allies now enter the war hmm. well we lost more than 100,000 and Germany just 1 million Thanks to the Kingdom of Poland, 1.4. And I think that the war is over. If the Soviets attack, now they are going to face the Allies too. So it's going to be impossible for, for them. And we should protect the Baltic States and Finland if possible. Yes, it's more than possible. And that's all. Thanks for watching. See you the next time.